Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13, the show. And we've got some more Diamond Dynasty coming your way. Keep moving up the ladder here. The Tampa Bay Rays is the team that we're going to be facing next. This is actually kind of cool because here at Tropicana Field, of course, it's all indoors. So this is actually the first game that I played in Tropicana Field, I want to say, in a while. So it'll be kind of cool to get a chance to be able to play here. This might be the first time I think I've actually posted anything. With the Tampa Bay Rays, with them being at home anyway. But uh, you can tell this video is going to be a little bit longer. That usually means it's going to be good. So just kind of make sure you guys hang on here. Top of the first, 0 2 count right now. A good hit that goes into center field. So we're starting things off here. On the right track, of course, I need to be getting some hits. Team has uh, really been slacking as of late here with uh, some of the power, except the last game I had. Had a couple home runs, which is kind of nice. William Iwase now up at the plate. This one also goes into center field. Runners on first and second now. We're doing uh, pretty well here at the beginning of the game. Because it's all about, I think, reducing the confidence of the pitcher early in the game. That really sets up uh, a lot of success down the road. Two outs now. Yet another single going into right field. I'm not going to risk rounding third and coming home. Yeah, I definitely would not have been able to make that one. So bases are loaded, and if you guys know anything about uh, the videos that I've made in the past, there's a curse. Every time that the bases are loaded, things kind of mess up here. So uh, I'll take a look to see if we get out of this uh, inning without any runs or uh, if we might see some good stuff here. So one, two, count. Oh, my gosh. It's going to happen. Grand slam to start the game off here. Wow. Now, I posted one game earlier called Grand Slam here where it was the Braves visiting the Nationals, and we gave up a Grand Slam, but this is the first Grand Slam I have had, gosh, I want to say since MLB 2K11, yes, because I was playing the Astros, and I think Soriano hit the Grand Slam, but still, it's really, really cool that we got it here. Hopefully, I'll actually be able to get it in an MLB game, but man, this has just been awesome. Is the curse officially broken? Is this what does it? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But it hasn't been nearly as bad with uh, with the show than it was with 2K. So I'm feeling pretty good now. 4 to nothing here. 3-2 count. I go ahead and give up a walk, which is not good. Can't afford to have anybody on base. But, I mean, since I am up 4 nothing right now, we really don't have too much to worry about. Longoria up at the plate now. So starting off this game, I'm definitely kind of at a little bit of a disadvantage here. Um, you know, because uh, right now my pitching staff, I'm kind of a little tired. I mean, all my starting pitchers uh, have really been in for a while. So their uh, energy, once they you know, have been starting these games, not 100%. So I have to rely on my bullpen to go ahead and make up for that. Uh, lack of energy and now they're getting kind of tired too so I don't know if that means that I need to go ahead and start bringing in uh, some new pitchers here I don't think I'm going to wait on it just yet I kind of want to I think I've got uh, 14 or 11 games or something like that left of uh, Snack Bars 1.0 and then we hit Snack Bars 2.0 so with each game I am buying a new player that we're going to be seeing here in Snack Bars 2.0 focusing of course on speed going to be a ton of stolen bases already just looking at the team that's going to be great oh my gosh I guess if you're going to have something go off the pitcher it might as well be something like that you know anyway still bottom of the second or I guess I should say now we're in the bottom of the second still four to nothing this one goes to Wase and right he's going to make the throw over to first and it is going to be in time wow we've got a couple cool highlights already to be able to show it seems like that uh, after one of the updates to the game it was a lot tougher to make that throw from right over to first but I was able to do it right there and Iwase doesn't have the best arm so it's cool we got that and of course the grand slam alright this has honestly got to be one of my favorite games here in a while and we're only in inning number three Iwase up at the plate this one goes deep in a right field this one is going to be another home run so we've got some power back now. There was a span of about three or four games that I had earlier here in this season with Diamond Dynasty where I could do no wrong up at the plate. And then prior to the last game, 
I want to say about three or four games into that, I was really struggling here up at the plate. But it seems like it's going in waves a little bit, like a giant roller coaster. Like I'll, I'll uh, have a streak where I'm doing really good, then I'll drop down, just do terrible, and just kind of go right back. All right. Five to nothing now, of course, here. Still top of the third. This one, is it gonna be back-to-back -back homers? Oh my gosh! Talk about the power being back here with the snack bars. Joe Madden not too happy. Don't blame him. Honestly, Moore has really struggled, and now we're at the point here where we've been able to bring his confidence down quite a bit here, too. So I wouldn't expect, uh, or I would expect to see a pitching change here relatively soon. Depending on what we see, uh, you know, just kind of coming up here. Nobody's actually been warming up for the Rays. So anybody that they bring in at this point, not going to be the uh, best thing or uh, best person to go with here. So just a little roller here in the left field. That's going to be a single for me. And I think that's what's going to go ahead and finally be the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh, I guess somebody is warming up here. So Joe Madden comes out to the mound here. Going to bring in Roberto Hernandez. To come in here for more so whether this is going to be a good move or not remains to be seen always a huge question mark it seems like in this game uh, if a change uh, for the pitcher is really going to help or hurt but lately it seems like relievers have been doing a pretty good job being able to slow me down if they if the starting pitcher has been in for a while of course I get accustomed to those pitches um, but now on the first pitch Hernandez gives up a two run blast I really crushed that one. That one went in the deep left field. All right. So that's really going to affect the confidence here of Hernandez. And like I was saying at the beginning of the game here, that really does a lot uh, for how the game ends up, and it really impacts the pitcher quite a bit. So to kind of lead things off here, his very first pitch, I mean, this is how we welcome him to the game, but... Gosh, that's not going to be cool. Kearns, gosh, he's had one great game already. Second home run. He had the grand slam earlier. Still no outs. Eight to nothing here in inning number three. And again, back-to-back -back home runs. So I, I couldn't help but think right now. I'm like, oh, man, did I accidentally put it on rookie? And if so, what am I going to do? Because it seems like my PlayStation... Uh, whenever I'm going through Diamond Dynasty and I choose to play the computer, it always defaults to rookie, which is not the mode that I play on, too. And so I'm sitting here like, uh-oh, what am I going to do? But apparently it wasn't. I mean, this has just been a great uh, set of innings here for the snack bars. All right, so that's it. That's all the damage that we do. I shouldn't say that's all because, I mean, it's 9 to nothing now was not expecting this type of game against the Rays. I've got a lot of respect for him here. And I've always thought of the Rays as your ideal small market team. I mean, they always seem to make things work. Always, um, you know, are in the, uh, in the running here to be able to make the playoffs. So, you know, I worried about it. I'm not going to lie. But this one going deep into center field. Boovy is not going to be able to make the play right there. So it's going to be an RBI double. I'm not going to risk throwing home right here. I did not have a play at the plate. Just wanted to prevent uh, the runner at second from advancing over to third. So with that, the Rays, of course, get on the board right now. Brown allowing his first run of the game. All right. Now Owase here in the fourth inning. Oh, what is this? Is this going to be another home run? Wow. That's two for Iwase today, too. So we got two by Kearns, two by Iwase. He had a hit earlier as well, so he's three for three. And Hernandez. Not going to lie, surprised that he is still in, because while I have to worry about the stamina of my pitchers, uh, the Rays not so much. Because anytime I face the computer, everybody for the Rays is all like, maxed out here with uh, stamina and also with their energy so it's never a problem here bottom of the fourth 10 to 1 now is the score snack bars on top of the race so ooh, nice little turnaround move right there Garcia is showing off a little bit a little spin to make that throw over to first top of the fifth 
Good hit that goes into center field. That's just going to be a little single, but um, like we've been seeing earlier, just a few singles can turn into something really, really good for this team, especially now that we have the power back. And I think we're really making up here for, gosh, the last few games as well. Hernandez, confidence really, really close to the bottom. And there's actually been points, too, where the stamina has been all the way at the bottom. So, ooh. I thought that was going to be a double play, to be honest. Barely beat that one out. All right, two outs now here, top of five. Going to head over for second. And I, gosh, I should not have laid off that one, to be honest. That was just right down the middle of the plate. So, i got to be careful with that. You know, if it's over the heart of the plate and I'm stealing, I still should swing at it. All right. Another one over the heart of the plate. What's going on with Hernandez? Deep center field. Wow, what is that? Home run number six in this game for the snack bars? Jeez, sometimes you have games. We don't do too great at all. I mean, we've kind of seen that really here. The A's game went into extra innings. I've lost against the Mets and the Orioles. That reminds me, I still need to go back and play the Orioles. But sometimes you just have a game where everything just goes right. And that's exactly what's been happening here in this game for the Snack Bars. Hitting, I don't know what's happened. Maybe something snapped, but it's going all my way. Hitting the left center. This could be a double for the Rays. All right, I should be happy about that. I was honestly afraid that was going to turn into a triple. All right, so Brown's coming out here just because he was running low on stamina and or on energy, excuse me. And I didn't want to go ahead and use all of that energy up. So Ray Cruz is going to be coming in now. Uh, he did a great, uh, great job in the last game here against uh, the Ace. So I'm hoping that he has the same amount of success here. This one going to Owase in right. Runner's going to tag up from second, head over to third. Throw, of course, not going to be in time at all. Honestly, Garcia kind of lobbed it over there, too. But I don't even think, or well, I think that if uh, we had gone with just a straight toss over there, too, still wouldn't have made it in time. So it's okay. 0-2 count here now. Still in the bottom of the fifth. This one goes deep in the left. I'll make the play. No, I won't make the play. Another RBI double. Man. Two runs now for the Rays in the game. Still up by 10 runs, so not going to let it get to me. This one goes right up the middle. Nicholas Wolf makes the throw, and it's in time. That, I thought, was a pretty good play here, too. So my middle infield really has uh, been getting things going. So that was going to fall just short of Boovy over there in center. It's going to be a little single here, too. So Rays have had a pretty good string of hits here as well. I've just been very fortunate here uh, with Brown and... Uh, now with uh, with Cruz, it really hasn't amounted to too much. But I'm able to stop that one. But it's a bad throw over to first. I don't know if it was just my initial excitement with the fact that I actually died for something. And it helped. Tell you what, that's the hardest thing I think about this game is diving for stuff. Which, it makes sense because in real life, it's really tough to be able to dive for a ball as well. But uh, just super tough in here. At least I was able to prevent it from going into the outfield. But honestly, it really wasn't worth anything. I almost threw that one in the dugout. Top of eight now. Really not too much has happened. This one goes deep in the right field. That one, of course, not going to go over the wall, but it's going to end up being a double. Nope. Oh, yep. I thought about going three. I really did. I'm not going to lie. I mean, at this point, I'm just like, I can risk... You know, these type of uh, these type of plays here, I try and round second, head over to third. Garcia's a fast guy, too. But I'm glad I stayed on second because with his speed, he's going to round third and come home. So another run here for the snack bars, making it 13-2. to two. And who knows, maybe with Jimenez over there at first, we might be able to see yet another run. All right, so the game is kind of winding down to a close here a little bit. We're in the bottom of the eighth. Now we've got to make sure that we uh, don't allow anything too crazy to happen. I don't think that we're going to be seeing the Rays score 11 runs here in two innings. But you never know. 
I've got a couple pitchers warming up right now just in case something like that was going to happen. So I think I'm going to get out of this. I think it's safe to say with an 11 run lead here in the eighth inning, I've got this one in the back. All right, so uh, Rays are still threatening. Here's the score. Here we go. Double play. 6-4-3. So some good defense right there for the snack bars. Exactly what I needed right here to be able to go ahead and eliminate this momentum. So Longoria not had a good day. I don't think he's been able to get one hit yet. Bottom of the ninth here. 1-0 -oh count. One out. It's going to be a base hit. So Cruz has started to kind of show he's getting a little tired. He's made some bad throws over the heart of the plate. Uh, control has been a serious factor. Actually, with Brown, it was a bigger factor than it was with Cruz. I don't know why that would be because I thought I worked on that. All right, so that one rolls out to Iwase in right. See if we can make the play over at third. I think if I would not have gone with the cutoff, I might have been able to get him right there. All right, so with runners on first and third, I got to bring my best here. Try to see if I can force the ball on the ground to get a double play to end the game. That'd be a sweet way to end it. Oh, goes right back to Cruz, who gets it to Jimenez. Tag at the plate. No run, of course, with that. No runners on first and second here for the Rays. I thought maybe I could try and go with the double play, but honestly, with the amount of time that, that ball spent rolling back over to Cruz, I did not think that that would be a good idea. So I think I made the smart play right there to prevent the run. Again, really not too concerned about the outcome of this game, but uh, I still want to make sure, you know, kind of do everything to protect it. So we can make the throw. Absolutely, we do. Over to second, we get the out. So the game is done and over with. Honestly, if it was not for those first three innings, this game would have been a lot closer. So more struggled. So did Hernandez. But it looks, or it looks like that the Rays finally got things figured out here in the second half of the game. But it was too little, too late. Snack bars end up winning. So thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. Just check the description below. And don't forget the charity live stream June 1st and 2nd with Tezadude and myself to benefit the charity water.org. Hopefully we'll see you there. Thanks again, and as always, I hope you have a good one.